good morning good evening good afternoon in whichever time you're watching this welcome to SSC second static and current in this video we are going to discuss the current affairs for second week of mars beginning from 8 march 2022 till 15th of march 2022 but before moving forward if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to it because here we provide current affairs for all competitive exams be it banking ssc railways or any state pcs okay so have you subscribed so let us proceed so we have 80 news to be discussed for this week today uh, that is second week of mars uh, one from books and authors seven from sports news uh, six from days and events 11 economics and finance news seven international news two from awards and recognition 10 appointments four from space and events 10 government schemes and programs one events and festival one obituary 12 miscellaneous news eight bank news with total of 80 news okay so let us proceed we have first uh, section to be covered is books and authors we have one news to discuss in this section the only book for this week to be discussed is the blue book which has been authored by journalist amitav kumar okay journalist Avinav, amitav kumar have authored blue book remember this next section we have seven news to be dispo, uh, discussed from sports section so the first news is Priyanka Notaki has become 23rd Woman Grand Master of India. Okay, she is related to chess. So, Priyanka Notaki, 23rd Woman Grand Master of India, she is from Andhra Pradesh. Okay, she is 19 year old. Second sport news the Winter Paralympics has opened in Beijing. Okay, recently Beijing had conducted 2022 Winter Olympics, and now Winter Paralympics have also been opened in Beijing. Okay, Beijing, which is in China. Third news 2022 ASBC. Asian Youth and Junior Boxing Championship have started in Amman, Jordan. So, what is the venue for 2022 Asian Youth and Junior Boxing Championship? It is in Amman, Jordan. Okay, it has already been started. Next news India have taken first place in medal standing in International Shooting Sports Federation, ISSF World. Cup 2022 a very important news in the ISSF World Cup 2022 the Indian team has been on top okay so India has finished with total of seven medals okay followed by Norway which won six medals France was third okay and Saurabh Chaudhary from India has cleansed India's first gold medal in Cairo okay Cairo Egypt was the venue okay egypt cairo was the venue for this issf world cup okay shooting uh, world cup you can say uh, international shooting sports federation it was founded on 1907 its headquarter is at munich germany whose president is vladimir lesson fifth news uh, before proceeding uh, we can discuss some important headquarters of sport councils first is international cricket council its headquarter is in dubai uae badminton world federation's headquarter is in kuala lumpur malaysia International Tennis Federation headquarter is in London, UK. International Weightlifting Federation's headquarter is in Lausanne, Switzerland. World Chess Federation or FIDE's headquarter is in also Lausanne, Switzerland. ISSF, which we just discussed, its headquarter is in Munich, Germany. World Athletics headquarter is in Monaco. And United World Wrestling headquarter is in Lausanne, Switzerland. Okay, I hope it is clear. Fifth news, former Indian speedster S. Srisanth has announced his retirement from all form of competitive cricket. So S. Srisanth, uh, he was a cricketer. Okay, he, is, he was an Indian cricketer and now he has retired. Okay, he has taken, he has decided to retire from the sport. He is from Kerala. Next news, uh, MCC, which is Marylebone Cricket Club, which okay, is the custodian of cricket laws. Okay, it's new court for 2022 has been uh, decided okay making significant changes for the first time since 2017 so uh, making significant changes in the cricket rules okay Mary Libon uh, cricket club has decided to uh, make its new code of laws okay so mcc if we talk about it it was founded on 1787 whose president is claire canor who is from england its headquarter Mary Libon cricket club's headquarter is at london united kingdom okay next news uh, well uh, you can discuss some laws uh, implementation of this will take place from october the mcc has ratified as many as nine rule changes uh, important changes are there's permanent ban on use of saliva to sign the ball okay this is very uh, important rule now players cannot use saliva to sign the ball and the second rule is law 41.16 running out uh, the non striker has been moved from law 41 unfair play to law 38 run out. So you can see this. 
seventh news is Murray chalks up 700th win on ATP tour. So Andy Murray, Andy Murray is a world class tennis player. Okay, and he has uh, won his 700th ATP tour. ATP, if we talk about it, it's associate of uh, tennis professionals ATP okay just like ICC is the governing body of cricket ATP is the governing body of tennis worldwide okay so Andy Murray has uh, won 700th win of ATP tour okay so it's a good uh, game for him so he has uh, beaten Japanese qualifier Taro Daniel okay he has beaten Taro Daniel I hope it is clear we completed seven news let's revise quickly Priyanka Nutaki became 23rd woman Grand Master of India winter Paralympics has been opened in Beijing HBC Asian Youth and Junior Boxing Championship started in Amun Jordan India have uh, taken first place in ISSF shooting World Cup and uh, former Indian uh, cricketer S. Recent have decided to retire. MCC have made significant changes in the rule of uh, cricket laws. Okay. Uh, Murray chalks up. Uh, Andy Murray, he has uh, won his uh, 700th ATP tour. You can download the PDF of this session by clicking the PDF by link given in the description box. From where you can revise this session anytime, anywhere without watching the video again. Okay. You can download the PDF. You'll find the link in description. Uh, next section we have international news we have seven news to discuss in this session first is argentina federal police will now effectively use technique of yoga for stress management for its personnel very important argentina federal police will use yoga for stress management next news union cabinet uh, that is union cabinet of india have approved the establishment of who global center okay world health organizations global center for traditional medicine WHO GCTM okay World Health Organization Global Center for Traditional Medicine in Jamnagar Gujarat so in Jamnagar Gujarat WHO Global Center for Traditional Medicine has been set up okay next news India and Canada to hold fifth ministerial dialogue on trade and investment in New Delhi so India and Canada will hold fifth ministerial dialogue in New Delhi fourth uh, so yon suk yol okay yon suk yol is the new president of south korea okay he has recently been elected yon suk yol hungary has elected urban loyalist as uh, national nation's first female president so urban loyalist okay this is her name and she is the first female president of hungary okay new president female president of hungary sixth news ntpc which is national thermal power corporation have signed an agreement with Ceylon Electricity Board CEB to set up a solar power plant in Sampur in Sri Lanka's eastern Trincomalee district. So in the eastern Trincomalee district of Sri Lanka, NTPC which is an Indian energy company, uh, it has signed an agreement with Ceylon Electricity Board of uh, Sri Lanka to set up a solar power plant. Okay, the venue is in Sampur. Okay, it's Sri Lanka's eastern district. Okay, so talking about NTPC, it was founded on 7th November 1975 year is important 1975 its headquarter is at new delhi and cmd of ndpc is gurdeep singh seventh news adani group has signed a deal for two large power projects in sri lanka's northern province okay so another news related to sri lanka sri lanka's in the sri lanka's northern province adani group which is a big business giant in india it has signed a deal for two large power projects here you can see the news in detail in pdf okay so let us revise quickly first uh, argentina federal police will use yoga for stress management union cabinet has approved uh, who global center for traditional medicine in jamnagar gujarat india and canada to hold fifth ministerial dialogue south korea's new president is yon suk yol urban loyalist is the first female president of hungary ntpc has signed an agreement with ceylon electricity board to set up a uh, solar power, power plant in sri lanka and adani group has signed a deal for two last power projects in sri lanka again so this was international news we have two news from awards and recognitions so a bangladeshi environmental lawyer rizwana hassan has been selected for International Women for Courage Award 2022. International Women for Courage Award 2022 has been given to Rizwana Hassan, who is Bangladeshi environmental lawyer. Next, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, he, who is from the US, he has been inducted into Hall of Fame. Okay, so these are the two important awards. Rizwana Hassan has been selected for 
Indian International Woman of Courage for 2022 and Tiger Woods has been inducted into Hall of Fame. Next, we have 10 important appointments to discuss. Vidya Balan is the brand ambassador of Bharti Exa Life Insurance. Okay, Bharti Exa Life Insurance brand ambassador is now Vidya Balan. MD and CEO of Bharti Exa Life Insurance is Parag Raza and this particular insurance company was founded in 2007. So Vidya Balan, brand ambassador Bharti Exa Life Insurance. T. Raza Kumar, who is a Singaporean, okay, who, who belongs to Singapore, he has been president, uh, named as the president of Financial Action Task Force, FATF, okay, FATF, which was formed on 1989, whose headquarter is at Paris, France, and whose president is Marcus Player. It's new, uh, sorry, uh, the president is not Marcus Player. Its new president is T. Raza Kumar now, okay, he was previously Marcus Player. Uh, he is now T. Raja Kumar. Okay, remember this. Next, the central government has appointed Justice Dhirubhai Naran Bhai Patel, okay, uh, who is the Chief Justice of Delhi High Court as the Chairperson of Telecom Dispute Settlement and Appellate, Appellate Tribunal. So, TDSAT, which is Telecom Disputes Settlement and Appellate Tribunal, its chairperson is now Mr. Uh, Dhirubhai Naran Bhai Patel, who is the Chief Justice of Delhi High Court. Okay. Fourth news Home Ground Pharma Major Lupin Limited has signed six time world boxing champion Olympic bronze medalist Maricom as brand ambassador. So, Maricom, everybody knows her, right? Maricom is now the brand ambassador of Lupin Limited, which is a pharma major company. Fifth, Aswini Bhatia, who is also the MD of State Bank of India has been appointed as the whole time member of SEBI, which is Security and Exchanges Boards of India. Recently, a female head of SEBI was appointed. If anybody knows, you can write in the comment box, okay? Who is the new head of SEBI? Who is female, okay? Just uh, who is the first female head of SEBI? So just write the name. But Aswini Bhatia is now the whole member, whole time member of SEBI, and he is also the MD of SBI. Next, the government appointed formal financial services secretary Debasis Panda as chairman of chairman of insurance regulatory development authority of india irdai so irdai has got its new chairman who is he he is devasis panda irdai which was founded in 1999 its headquarter is at hyderabad seventh appointment is uh, rakesh joshi has been appointed as the whole time member of irdai again okay second news related to irdai rakesh joshi is the new whole time member of irdai and the irdai is a 10 member body with a chairman five whole time members and four part time members eighth m arsal b chandrasekhar has taken over as commandant of air force academy indian air force so who is now the commandant of air force academy of indian air force he is air marshal b chandrasekhar ninth news N. Chandrasekharan, the chairman of Tata Sense, okay, who is the chairman of Tata Sense, N. Chandrasekharan, is now also the chairman of Air India, okay. Air India's new chairman is N. Chandrasekharan, who is chairman of Tata Sense. Next, Ranjit Rat to head India's second largest oil and gas producer, Oil India Limited. So, Oil India Limited, which is India's second largest oil and gas producer, its new head is Ranjit Rat. So, these were the 10 appointments. So, with this, we complete appointment. Now, let us discuss six days and events. Okay, six important days and events. First, we all know International Women's Day fell on 8th March. Its theme was Gender Equality Today for Sustainable Tomorrow. Okay, next, the Jan Aushadi Divas is celebrated on 7th March by the Pharmaceutical and Medical Devices Bureau of India. So, Pharmaceutical and Medical Devices Bureau of India celebrated 7th March as Jan Aushadi Divas. Third, 53rd annual of sorry, 53rd anniversary of CISF, which is Central Armed Force of its full form is Central Industrial Security Force. Okay, CISF. Uh, its raising day was on March 10. Okay, 53rd raising day of CISF was on March 10. Fourth, uh, we can see some important raising days. Indian Navy's raising day is on 4th December. Uh, Indian Navy's commander in chief is R. Hari Kumar, Admiral R. Hari Kumar. Indian Army's uh, raising day is, or we call it Army Day, is on 15th Jan. 
uh, its head is General Manoj Mukund Naravne, Indian Army's Commander in Chief. Um, Air Force, 8th October, okay, Indian Air Force Day. Its head is Air Chief Marshal Vivek Ram Chaudhary. CISF, 27th July, DG Kuldeep Singh is the head. Uh, sorry, CRPF, 27th July, DG Kuldeep Singh. CBI, 1st April. Uh, Director General is Subodh Kumar Jaiswal. NSG is its raising day is on 16th October. Director General is M A Ganpati. ITBP its raising day is on 24th October. Director General is Sanjay Arora. PSF its raising day is on uh, 1st December. Its Director General is Pankaj Kumar Singh. BRO its raising day is on 7th May. Its Director General is Rajiv Chaudhary. And CISF which we just read in today's news. Uh, its raising day is on 10th March and its Director General is Seal Vardhan Singh. Okay. And Raw's Director General is uh, Raw's Secretary is Samant Goyal and Intelligence Bureau's Director is Arvind Kumar. I hope it is clear. World Kidney Day is celebrated on 2nd Thursday of March every year. It was observed on March 10. And the theme of World Kidney Day is Kidney Health for All. Okay. Fifth, 24th edition of International Day of Action for Regeneration of River was observed on 14th March. So 14th March was the 24th edition of International Day of Action for Regeneration of River. So remember this date. 14th March is also the birthday of Albert Einstein and it is also Pi Day. Okay, Pi Day. Okay, important day in terms of mathematics because Pi whose value is approximately 3.14. Okay, which also symbolizes 14th day of March. Okay, 14 uh, March we call it right. We write 14 3 while writing 14th March. So that's why it is Pi Day. So just remember this date. It's also the birth anniversary of Stephen Hawkins. So this was it. World Consumer Rights Day is observed on 15th March. Uh, with this we complete days and events let's revise quickly first international women's day 8th march janosidhi river 7th march cisf uh, raising day 10th march and world kidney day is on also 10th march along with cisf raising day whose uh, theme of world kidney day was kidney health for all and uh, international day for action for regeneration of river was observed on 14th march and World Consumer Rights Day on 15th March. So now we come to four important space and defense news. Ninth edition of India Sri Lankan Bilateral Maritime Exercise SLINEX. SLINEX, S L I N E X, is the bilateral exercise between India and Sri Lanka. And it was scheduled at Visakha Patnam. Okay, Visakha Patnam is the venue for this bilateral exercise. So this was it. Uh, the exercise is being conducted in two phases that is the harbor phase at Visakhapatnam followed by sea phase at Bay of Bengal and the Indian Navy will be represented by INS Kirch which is a guided missile corvette okay so INS Kirch will be present in this particular exercise of from the side of Indian Navy so I hope it is clear Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Corps, which is IRGC, it has successfully put a second military satellite. The name of the satellite is Noor 2. Okay, so Noor 2 belongs to which country? It belongs to Iran. PM Modi has dedicated National Defense University to the nation and addressed its convocation at Gandhinagar, Gujarat. So in Gandhinagar, Gujarat, Modi has dedicated National Defense University. Fourth, ISRO is organizing Yuva Vigyani Karikram, okay, whose short form is Yuvika or it, it translates into Young Scientist Program, okay. So ISRO uh, is organizing this particular program. Chairman of ISRO is Dr. S. Somanath. Its headquarter is at Bangalore, Karnataka and ISRO was founded on 15th August 1969. So we complete space and defense. Let's revise quickly. India Sri Lanka bilateral exercise it's SLINEX okay scheduled at Visakha Patnam INS kids from Indian Navy will be, be present in this exercise so Iran's uh, Noor 2 is a new satellite okay Noor 2 is the satellite belonging to Iran and PM Modi has dedicated National Defense University at Gandhinagar Gujarat and ISRO has organized Yuva Vigyani 
विज्ञानी कार्यक्रम शॉर्ट फॉर्म इज यूविका आई होप इट इज क्लियर नाउ लेट्स क्विकली डिस्कस टेन गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स एंड प्रोग्राम सो गवर्नमेंट हैज लॉन्च डोनेट ए पेंशन प्रोग्राम ओके वेरी सिंपल द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज लॉन्च डोनेट ए पेंशन प्रोग्राम विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ प्रधानमंत्री श्रम योगी मानधन पेंशन स्कीम ओके इट्स एन इनिशिएटिव अंडर दिस ओके प्रधानमंत्री श्रम योगी मानधन स्कीम एंड विच सिटीजन कैन डोनेट दियर पेंशन नेक्स्ट छत्तीसगढ़ चीफ मिनिस्टर भूपेश बाघेल हैज लॉन्च कौशल्य मातृत्व योजना एंड अंडर दिस व्हाट विल हैपन इज अ फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस ऑफ फाइव थाउजेंड विल बी गिवन टू वुमेन ऑन द बर्थ ऑफ सेकंड गर्ल चाइल्ड ओके सो कौशल्य मातृत्व योजना बाय छत्तीसगढ़ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ वुमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट हैज लॉन्च अ कैंपेन कॉल्ड कन्या शिक्षा प्रवेश उत्सव ओके इट हैज बीन लॉन्च बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डेवलपमेंट वुमेन डेवलपमेंट एंड चाइल्ड डेवलप मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ वुमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट कन्या शिक्षा प्रवेश उत्सव ओके वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ दिस द पर्पज ऑफ दिस इज टू ब्रिंग बैक आउट ऑफ स्कूल एडोलेशन गर्ल्स इन इंडिया टू द फॉर्मल एडुकेशन ओके सो दो गर्ल्स हु हैव लेफ्ट स्कूलिंग इन द मिडल द पर्पज ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम इज टू ब्रिंग बैक दो गर्ल्स ओके टू फॉर्मल एडुकेशन सो दैट्स इट नेक्स्ट न्यूज हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट हैज अनाउंस्ड मातृ शक्ति उद्यमिता स्कीम टू प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट टू वुमेन एंटरप्रेन्योर्स सो इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट टू वुमेन एंटरप्रेन्योर्स हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट हैव अनाउंस्ड मातृ शक्ति उद्यमिता अंडर दिस फाइव लैख रुपीज द वुमेन हुज फैमिलीज एनुअल इनकम इज लेस देन फाइव लैख रुपीज विल बी प्रोवाइडेड एक्सेस टू सॉफ्ट लोन्स ओके सो फिफ्थ न्यूज Sikkim state government will soon implement Ama Yojana. It has actually already implemented Ama Yojana, and uh, the Ama Yojana is for uh, helping non-working mothers. And Bahini scheme is benefiting girl students. Uh, this Bahini scheme is for uh, providing sanitary pads to all the girls above class nine, okay, in schools. Whereas Ama Yojana. is for helping non working mothers so both these schemes belongs to sikkim next third edition of national youth parliament festival nypf it has been organized jointly by lok sabha secretariat and ministry of youth affairs okay next government of karnataka has launched women at work program to provide 5 lakh jobs within 2026 to women so karnataka government has launched women at work program it Haryana's CM who is Manohar Lal Khattar he has announced Sushma Swaraj award for women for the significant achievement of contrib our contribution in different walks of life in international and national spheres so Haryana government has announced Sushma Swaraj award ninth government e marketplace which is ZEM it has launched stitching and tailoring services on this portal in partnership with Usa International Limited through its Silai school program okay through a Silai school program government e marketplace it has launched stitching and tailoring services on its portal okay in partnership with Usa International Maharashtra has announced to set up country's first medical city named as Indriyani Medi City. So the first country's medical city will be now set up in Maharashtra, and the name of the city will be Indriyani Medi City. It will be in Pune. Okay, it will be in Pune, and it will provide all kind of specialized treatment under one roof. So with this, we complete government and schemes. Uh, let's uh, revise quickly. The government has launched Donate a Pension Program. Chhattisgarh C uh, C M Bhupesh Baghel has launched Kaushalya Matritva Yojana. Ministry of Women and Child Development has launched a campaign called Kanya Shiksha Pravesh Utsav. Haryana government has launched Matru Shakti Udyamita scheme for women entrepreneurs. Sikkim state government will implement Ama Yojana which is for uh, helping non-working mothers and Bahini scheme for benefiting girl students of the state providing them sanitary nap uh, sanitary pads okay. And uh, National Youth Parliament Festival or uh, it was organized jointly by lok sabha secretary and ministry of youth affairs government of karnataka has launched women at work program haryana cm manohalal khattar has launched announced sushma swaraj award government e marketplace has launched stitching and tailoring services on its portal in partnership with usa and maharashtra has announced indriyani medicity in pune okay which is first medical city in india okay 
so that's it now let's discuss one festival or event quickly the it's not actually a particular festival it's a literature festival okay sahityotsav okay sahityotsav the festival of letters of sahitya academy okay so sahityotsav which is a festival of letters of sahitya academy which is india's most inclusive literature literature festival will be held from 10th to 15th march 2022 okay so sahitya utsav which is festival of letters of sahitya academy will be held from 10th to 15th march 2022 next we have one important obituary we recently uh, heard that sane won was famous cricketer who died from australia so uh, following week also another australian cricketer road mars have also died okay followed by uh, following sane won okay rod mars he has also died he is he was also an australian cricketer okay obviously now we come to 11 economics and finance news quickly rbi has launched two key initiative which is upi 123p that is to make upi payments for feature phone okay not only for smartphones but feature phone users so this is one scheme of upi 123p from rbi okay to enable upi payments for feature phone and second is digi sakhi which is a 24/7 helpline to address queries of digital payment you users across products so upi 123p and digi sakhi are the two new key initiatives of reserve bank of india next government of india and world bank have signed a 125 million dollar loan agreement to support efforts to help poor and vulnerable group okay in the state of west bengal so government of india and world bank have signed 125 million dollar loan okay to help poor and vulnerable group uh ex to access social protection services in the state of west bengal okay so world bank which was founded on 1944 its headquarter is at washington dc and his its president is david malpass and there are 189 members in world bank so here you can see there are these are the five subsidiaries of world banks alongside okay which are the five subsidiaries international bank for reconstruction debt and development ibrd international development association ida international finance corporation ifc multilateral investment guaranteed agency miga miga and the last subsidiary of world bank is international center for settlement of investment disputes icsid so these five are the subsidiaries of world bank please remember next national banks for a uh, bank for financing infrastructure and development which is nafit act 2021 received the assent of president on march 28 so this act which is nab fed act okay nab fed act it has received president's assent okay president's approval so according to this uh, this shall be regulated and supervised as an all india financed uh, institution by reserve bank under section 45l and 45n of reserve bank of india act 1934 okay uh, next news uh, the chairperson of this nab fid is kv kamath okay kv kamath next tone tag which is a sound based proximity communication and payment services provider it has recently rolled out its voice say upi digital payments okay so tone tag tone tag has rolled out voice say upi digital payments for feature phone users in partnership with nsdl payments bank and npci so remember this next a uh, crisel okay which is a domestic uh, credit rating agency it has retained its real gdp growth forecast okay uh, at 7.8% for fiscal year 2023 as compared with 8.5% projected in the economic survey so crisel which is a domestic rating agency of india it has forecasted india's gdp growth for the year 2023 that is upcoming fiscal year and the forecast is at 7.8% growth means crisel has said that india will india's gdp will grow by 7.8% this year uh, and economic survey recently uh, economic survey released by uh, india it said that india's gdp will grow by 8.5% okay so that's it crisel headquarter is at mumbai maharashtra md and ceo of crisel is amish mehta sixth 
SBI plan to launch a complete digital bank by revamping its digital banking platform YONO as only YONO. So SBI will revamp its digital platform YONO as only YONO. Okay. Seventh, Morgan Stanley, it has cut India's GDP forecast for fiscal year beginning April 1 by 50 basis points to 7.9 percent so remember this percent is morgan stanley okay it's an organization and it, and it has said that india's gdp will grow by 7.9 percent okay next epfo which is employees provident fund organization it has decided to provide 8.10 percent rate of interest to its subscribers in the fiscal year so 8.10 percent rate of interest is the interest provided by epfo for the year 2021-22 okay in the pensions uh, in the provident fund sorry ninth nsc ibja ally to set up bullion sport exchange okay national stock exchange and ibja which is india bullion and jewelers association so these both uh steamed organizations have allied to set up bullion sport exchange next tech mahindra to buy third wear for 42 million dollar okay so tech mahindra okay which is a uh, it giant in india it has uh, acquired it services firm okay, which is third wear solutions okay so it has acquired third wear solution which is it services firm tech mahindra okay the uh, it has acquired for 42 million dollars okay 42 million dollars 11th retail inflation which is consumer price inflation okay another name for consumer price inflation it has inched up to 6.07 percent in february okay so in the previous month the cpi that is consumer price inflation was 6.07 percent whereas it was 6.01 percent in january this year okay so with this we complete economics and finance let's uh, discuss miscellaneous news now tech giant microsoft has announced to set up its fourth data center in india in hyderabad so microsoft will announce uh, will set up its fourth data center in india in hyderabad telangana okay next reliance industry limited it has announced opening of the geo world center which will be india's largest and most prestigious multifaceted destination so geo world center it has been announced by reliance industry limited next indian global forum which is igf annual summit is being organized in bengaluru karnataka so indian global forums annual summit will be organized in bengaluru karnataka fourth news india's first 100 percent woman owned industrial park begin operation in hyderabad and it is promoted by Fiki Ladies Organization in partnership with the state government. Okay, so India's first 100% woman-owned industrial park it has began operation in Hyderabad, and it's promoted. It's promoted by Fiki Ladies Organization, which is FLO, and in partnership with state government means Telangana government, right? Hyderabad is the capital of Telangana. So uh, this is it. Fifth news is very important news. Bhagwant Man, who is also a former comedian, okay, he has taken oath as new Punjab CM. Okay, so Punjab's new CM is now Bhagwant Man. The former CM of Punjab was Charanjit Singh Channi. Okay, Charanjit Singh Channi was the former CM of Punjab, and the new CM of Punjab is Bhagwant Man. He is from Aam Aadmi Party. Okay, Aam Aadmi Party AAP. Sixth. Navi Mumbai, it has become the first city in Maharashtra to complete 100% COVID-19 vaccination of both doses. So, Navi Mumbai, first city in Maharashtra to complete 100% COVID-19 vaccination. Uh, seventh miscellaneous news, Chief Justice of India, who is N.V. Ramana. Okay, so Chief Justice of India of Supreme Court, N.V. Ramana, he has laid the foundation stone for arbitration center in Hyderabad next news supreme court have appointed its ex just ak sikri as the chairperson for the high powered committee which would consider the cumulative and independent impact for chardham project on the entire himalayan valley so in order to inspect the impact of chardham project on entire himalayan valley the 
ex judge of supreme court ak sikri has been appointed as the chairperson of high powered committee i hope it is clear next news atal innovation mission and niti ayog the full form of niti is national institution for transforming india so atal innovation mission and niti ayog it has announced its their partnership with snap inc which is a global camera company to drive augmented reality ski skilling among the indian youth so in order to drive augmented reality skilling on the indian youth atal innovation mission and niti ayog both have announced a partnership with snap inc which is global camera company what is augmented reality it's a highly visual and interactive method of presenting relevant digital information in the context of physical environment okay so that's it next news government which will select 100 startups across the country to empower sustainable economic growth and generate employment opportunities in the water or used water sector so how many startups will be selected by government 100 startups for what purpose to empower the sustainable economic growth and generate employment opportunities in the water or used water sector 11th srinagar get its first private art gallery okay srinagar will get its first private art gallery 12th news india's first ever gi tagged kashmir carpets flagged off to germany so we recently heard this news a few weeks before that uh, in kashmir the carpets okay the carpets has got its gi tag and also the government of jammu and kashmir it has launched quick response qr code for its gi tagged kashmir carpets okay we had read this and now this has been flagged off to germany so this were the 12 miscellaneous news let us revise quickly first is tech giant microsoft has announced to set up its fourth data center in india in hyderabad telangana reliance industry limited have announced opening of geo world center indian global forums annual summit will be organized in bangalore karnataka India's first 100% woman-owned industrial park has begun its operation in Hyderabad, promoted by Fikki Ladies Organization in partnership with Telangana government. Bhagwant Maan to take oath as new Punjab CM. Navi Mumbai become the first city in Maharashtra to complete 100% COVID-19 vaccination. Chief Justice of India, N.V. Ramana, he has led the foundation of arbitration center in Hyderabad. Supreme Court has appointed A.K. Sikri as the chairperson of High Power Committee for inspection of independent impact of Chardham project on entire Himalayan Valley. Atal Innovation Mission and Niti Aayog have announced a partnership with Snap INC, which is a global camera company, to drive augmented reality scaling among the Indian youth. Government will select 100 startups to generate employment opportunities in water or used water sector. Srinagar will get its first private art gallery and India's GI tagged Kashmir carpets is flagged off to Germany. So with this we complete miscellaneous news. Now the last section, bank news for banking exam aspirants. First, SBI have appointed former uh, Ujivan Small Finance Bank CEO Nitin Chag as Deputy Managing Director. Next, Bharti Airtel and Axis Bank it have announced to la the launch of Airtel Access Bank credit card as part of strategic partnership. So just remember, Bharti Airtel and Access Bank both have announced the launch of Airtel Access Bank credit card. Next, Aditya Birla Sun Life Insurance and uh, uh, Bharat Cooperative Bank Limited they have announced their bank assurance partnership. Next, HDFC Mutual Fund it has launched a woman-led financial empowerment initiative which is Lakshmi for Lakshmi. Okay, what is this for? It will connect women investors to a woman financial expert. HDFC Bank, whose headquarter is at Mumbai, founded on 1994. CEO is Sasidhar Jagdishan and chairman is Atanu Chakraborty. The tagline of HDFC Bank is We Understand Your World. Fifth, ICICI Bank will acquire 5% stake in National Asset Reconstruction Company Limited. The chairman of NARCL, that is National Asset Reconstruction Company Limited, is Pradeep Sa. MD and CEO is Padma Kumar Nair. And ICICI Bank will acquire 5% stake in NARCL. Next, RBI has directed Paytm Payments Bank to stop with immediate effect on the onboarding of new customers. So, Paytm Payments Bank 
cannot accept new customers now okay it has been directed by rbi p team payments bank it was founded on 2015 and uh, its headquarter is at noida ceo is satish kumar gupta and parent organization is 197 communication or ptm seventh reserve bank of india has lifted restriction on business generating activities planned under hdfc banks digital 2.0 program eighth yuko bank has entered into an agreement to acquire three percent stake in indian debt resolution company limited idrcl so these were the eight bank news with this we complete all the news set march second week you can download the pdf of this session by clicking the pdf by link given in the description box 